everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm coming at you with an interesting video. I apologize for the the dark uh, footage here. But what I want to share with you is something that I found very useful for when you're working over a cooking fire or a campfire or anything like that. And what it is, is it's a very simple thing. Right now, you can see right here that I'm pointing. I have a fire that I'm trying to get going and it's being stubborn. So what do I do at camp? I bring a small piece of hose. Most of the time, you know, this fire needs to get going um, because it's out because it needs more oxygen. So most of the time, I would have to put my head down here and blow on it. So, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to get my head down near the fire. So I use some hose, some pipe, some tubing. This is plastic hose. It's not the best that in the world to use, but it's better than nothing. Uh, it's all I had in the car. But what I really would recommend using if you get in this situation is some, uh, it's like a stretchy, kind of rubbery, almost like a nurse type hose. That works real good. It's good to have in your camp kit, you know, your bug out bag, because if you need to make a slingshot or something like that, plus you can also use it for things like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this hose down here and show you how I can bring my fire back to life without getting close to it through this hose here. Fires, when you try to bring them back from back to life, they like when you can bring the oxygen from underneath the fuel. And that's why a hose like this works really good for applications like that because you don't have to get your face down there and get smoked out and all this other stuff. You just put the hose down there and blow. You don't have to get smoke in your eyes and things of that nature because this keeps you a good safe distance from your fire. So anyway, I want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you got some good useful information out of that tip. Feel free to comment, like, share, subscribe. And as always, thanks for coming. We enjoy having you. I'm going to cook me a little chicken soup now. That's just a little bit of chicken breast that's been diced up into a bunch of little pieces. Makes real good soup. Anyway, we'll talk to you later guys. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye.